What is happening guys? We're Craig and Amy and you are watching Craig and It! We have been challenged by Eurotunnel to drive from our house all the way to Strasbourg in France to one of the oldest Christmas markets in Europe. I cannot wait mate. We love a road trip and all you need to know is there's Christmas markets and there's going to be Christmas challenges you're going down in. I know. Let's go. King in it. Rule your own world. First off, you're going to need some munchies. Don't forget your passports. But most importantly of all, the onesie. France. So are you ready for this road trip? Hang on. There's something missing. Come here. Perfect. We need to leave. Now. By the way, I'm a reindeer. So we're going to catch the Euro Tunnel. Is that what you would say? Is that like a bus? I don't actually know what the Euro Tunnel is. This is all I know. You put your car on the on it. It's like a big train, and then it moves. You don't move. How do you build a tunnel under the ocean? <laughs> oh, Tell me that. Don't blow my mind now. It's early. It's like 35 minutes from Folkestone to Calais, and then you're in France, mate. 35 minutes, you're in France. That's mad. That is. Do you know what the best part about this though is? One, Amy always gets travel sick, so she doesn't have to get on a boat. Honestly, my anxiety was at zero degrees this morning. I was loving life. Number two, you don't have to worry about bags because Amy always packs like a 45 kilo suitcase. I'm not even joking right now. I have a prom dress <laughs> in the back. Three, you can just pack the car full of presents for your family. You don't have to worry about getting it on a plane. I can't wait to do some shopping. I mean, I don't know how well my family are going to do out of this, but I am going to do really well. Hello. Go to the Euro Tunnel, please. France! Where's the shopping then, bro? <laughs> I want these ones. This is us, we're going on! It looks like a big double-decker train. You can take your dogs as well. This is mental! We made it! <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. I know, this is crazy! Look, you can go upstairs as well. Like... There's an upstairs. Listen carefully to the following safety information. Please ensure that your handbrake is on and that your vehicle is in first gear. En cas d'incident détecté dans votre compte. Find the toilet. This is the future, Craig. Get the shoes on though, didn't she? It's so you don't lose me. <laughs> oh, uno, uno momento. It's harsh, isn't it? Loads of time. France! We're in France! I've had a great time. I just feel like we, we've put our chairs back, have a quick nap because we were up early. And that. And then you were just like, oh, we're there. <laughs> so, uh, no napping for us. And we're off! We made it! It looks great, doesn't it? Who have we got? Who is she? She's got some beats by Dre on her. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to see who we had. She's beautiful, Craig. So that is it for today. We'll see you in the morning for the Christmas markets. Morning. morning. It's time to get back on the road. Um. Somehow I don't think we were supposed to have this room, Craig. I'm not sure how we bagged this. <gasps> and you booked the room and it said tiny room with cathedral view. Somehow. We've we've got a suite, which looks amazing. Look at the view, people. That, mate, is the cathedral. Will you please? And there's the Christmas markets. Oh my God, Craig, oh my God. Christmas! Oh my God, look at the bathroom. Nice. Whoa. Pure king in it, bro. Purely king in it. <laughs> This is like the most Christmassy, beautiful, little warm wonderland that I've ever been in. 
even if it wasn't Christmas, this place looks like Christmas. Like the cobblestones and the lights here, the buildings are fascinating, man. Like just even our side of the building, beautiful. Beautiful architecture, when came here and did it, freaking hats off to you, mate. So Craig's abso starving, so we're gonna find like a cute little cafe, which I'm sure it won't be hard. And then we got a few challenges that we're gonna set each other. You're going down. Some Christmas challenges. I can't wait, mate, this is my, this is my thing. Travel. The houses here are so cute. This one, for example. People build that out of gingerbread for Christmas. Someone lives there, mate. Someone lives there. Right then, fella. So the first Christmas challenge will be, we're gonna go our separate ways and we're gonna find the <laughs> ugliest piece of Christmas clothing that you can find. So then we're gonna do rock, paper, scissors. Whoever loses has to wear the item of clothing for the rest of the night. Brilliant. How much can I spend? Up to 30 euros. Okay, I think we've got a winner. That's my beautiful French model. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Okay, I'm in and out. I've already got my present. Now I need to find Amy. I think she's gonna love it though. And she's off. First tacky shop o'clock. What have we got? They've got a lot of stuff. But I've just got a feeling, like Craig's got but quite bad taste. So he, he would probably like it. I'd get him that if I could afford it. <laughs> buy something for myself so um, the budget's gone down just a little bit. Do you have this in a large? What about these bad boys? I mean they're not that ugly and I'd probably wear them after him but it would be funny to see him walking around the town. Pretty gopping. Bonjour! Um, I'm not gonna like Craig. I did buy myself two things <laughs> but right. you're gonna love it. All you're right, gonna you love go? it. Show me what you got. Down, 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 now, now, now. <laughs> Do you love them? I actually really like them. <laughs> I told you he had bad taste. <laughs> oh it's got ears. Oh, that's really cute. No, I do love it. Oh, he's lovely. No reindeer hat. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> Check it on your head, kid. Yeah, look at that backdrop. It doesn't go with my outfit. Oh my God, it looks so cool. You look brilliant. Fabulous. This is the most Christmassy street I've ever seen in my whole life. It looks like something out of Harry Potter. So the French, they mark the 12th day of Christmas, or the Feast of the Epiphany, by scoffing down one last pastry. That right sounds up, good to right me, Right everyone's street. Gelet de Roux, I think that's how you say it. Go on, son. And it translates to the Cake of Kings. Oh, King that, in it. That sounds right, right about right. In France. The next challenge, we've got to find the best cake or pastry we can find. Bring them back to each other, and then we've got to guess how much the pastry or cake costs, and whoever gets closest wins. I guess we get both. <gasps> so many good cakes. Look at all these chocolates. They know how to do pastry in France. Look at all this goodness. Oh my god. Alright, guys, this is mine. This is my time to shine. I don't know if you quite know it, but my middle name is Cake. Hang on, I'm not sure if they sell cake in here. Hello, do you have any cakes? Patisserie? Yeah. It'd be not it. Okay. No cakes in here then. Oh, smells delightful. This is a cake. And if I win, and then I get to eat it, so we're getting that one. Here's a little fruit kebab now. Look at my little cute cake. <coughs> I bought a big one. Did you, yeah. <laughs> I do want to get the little munchkin wet, so should we go to like a coffee shop or something? Yeah, let's get a coffee. How excited you are! Ah!
What patisserie you got then, son? I, I ended up carrying this bag with the cake that you bought. It's weighty. Don't what you did you buy? Don't you worry about my patisserie, son. They give you a little... Oh, you went to a proper posh place. Yeah, you oh, got like a yeah. little catalogue here. I was after the cake of kings, mate. Hmm. Hang on. Where's yours? What are you doing? You're supposed to be showing me yours. Dana! She's beautiful. A little creamy number. That's the decent patisserie, that. That's the cake of kings. Oh my god, that looks beautiful. Got just an ugly big slab. So I win on prettiness. Well, this is the cake of kings. This is a door stopper. Right, so the aim of this challenge, remember, was to guess how much each other's cost. So I'm going to guess first. I'm going to say that you paid four euros for that. Don't tell me how much. Just keep that in mind. How much do you think I paid for the door stopper? This is a hazelnut Christmas cake with spices, though, to be fair. 12 euros 90. How much was yours? 4.30. Mine was 4, 14.50. 14.50? I win! Till you taste it, brother. What's in it? That mean it's 2 nil, yeah. I win either way, though, don't I? Oh my god. So beautiful. Right then. Morning. morning! Woke up this morning, we got some coffee and some pastry, of course, yes. we're in France. Yes. And so today we're going to have a little explore on Stratford. Yeah, there's a place called, um, I think it's like Le Petit Francois. Check you out. I know. It's just like the centre of all that is French and Christmassy, so I'm excited. French essentials, prom dress. <laughs> well, you look like you've just been let out. This is let out from where? <laughs> no, like who made up the rule? That, you know, if you go into a party, you wear party dress. If you go in, you know, downtown, you just wear your casual clothes. Like, why can't I wear a prom dress every single day? So that's what's happening. Do you want to see it properly? It's nice, isn't it? It's got like a proper bow. <laughs> Everybody's looking at me. <laughs> Just put a mulled wine, have a smell, and then have a little gargle around your mouth. It's not mouthwash. Just try it, it will blow your socks off. Whoa. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> Goes right to the back of your teeth. Yeah, that's like the sweetest thing. I don't even like wine or malt, but that's beautiful. That is Christmas in a cup. So good. Like, just what we need is that's a grain in, but it's still so Christmassy with all the brollies and that. So I think we're still in Le Petit France, but how cool is this? Oh, I just pulled a muscle trying to do trying to be all like fancy one night in the picture and I pulled my muscle. <laughs> I love it. So when I'm grown up or grown. Never gonna happen. Um, I'd like to live here please. Would you? Yes. In Little France. In Strasbourg. Ever. Okay, we're back in the mix. We went home because it was freezing, so we went home. We had a bath. Got in the bath. <laughs> we had a cup of tea. Put some long johns on. And now we're back out. We're back at it. The next challenge is you've got to find the best Christmas ornament for under 20 euros. 20 euros is quite a lot of money. You've got to find the best <laughs> Christmas ornament under 10 euros. Now I'm not 100% sure what I'm getting, but I believe I'm in the right shop. Like, will you please, for ornaments galore. They're, they're, like, I know they're not lasagna dishes, but I'm thinking it could be a lasagna dish. I think I might win with that. It's not really an ornament though, nah. He'll back me down on points, I know he will. That little thing there. 14 euro 50. Is that Hiya, mates. Um, are any of your birds, are they any of them 10 euros? 
haggle. I've only got 10 euros, and it's 10 euros 50. I, I, I only have 10. No, I no, 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 not possible. Ah, oui. Yeah, perfect. Once again, this kid in and out, no messing about with these challenges. I've already got my ornament. How do you call this? Are you ready for this? Yeah. This is a special, special ornament. Get on with it. Cathedral carousel, light candle I can't see stick it, bro. holder. Oh. <laughs> there. Uh, what is it? So you stick a little candle in it, and then it's got like a little carousel of cathedrals that spins round from the heat. Look at you loving it. You're actually going to use that, aren't you? For originality and stuff, um, it's not that original because there's a massive cathedral around you. Have you ever seen one of these before though? Points down no, on that hang one. hang on, you haven't ever seen one of these before? I saw one yesterday because you pointed <laughs> it out and I knew you loved it. How much is it? Got a little, Waste the money! Got a little confession. I went over budget. I thought you were going to say you nicked it. <laughs> you went over budget. Only about two euros. Oh, well, that, you're, out, you're disqualified, mate. What? That's exactly what you are. Disqualification. And what you got? Oh, well, I really thought long and hard about this. So when I was like really into it, like seriously, I'm going to win this one. And I think I am. Let me just assemble it. You can't just... This is Dennis. <laughs> Dennis likes long flights to Africa and spending Christmas with his girlfriend in Strasbourg. That is nothing to do with Christmas. Port portability? Isn't that what you said? Yeah, that's a two out of if ten. If it's too heavy, <laughs> you may Did take you your off. No, 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 this is how he comes. <laughs> and he was 10 euros 50, and I was like, babes. So you went over babes, budget as well. I've got, no, 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 I haggled her down. And she gave it to me for 10 euros. No. 10 pounds. Mate, who's, who's spending 10 pounds on that? No yeah. wonder. She was like, Ruth, Ruth in the back. We just sold one for a tenner. Seeing as I'm the only competitor right now, I win. Oh, magnificent. Fourth and final challenge. What is it? Hang on, what's the score? It's 2-1 to me, so you need to win this so we can draw. You must find the best Christmas tree topper to take home and put on your family tree at home. How do we figure out whose is better? Oh, it's just going to be mine. <laughs> hey, I think I know what I'm going to get. It's a, little, it's a little bit weird. But I hope you can see see it through my eyes. That he's beautiful and that no one else is gonna buy him. So I think I need to give him a loving home. Excited. Oh, I think I know where he is. <gasps> I got him. I found him. There he is. <laughs> oh my actual man, he's 14 euros 50. You're coming with me, sunshine. <laughs> Um, oh, I'm just, I'm going to quit kinging it, I'm just going to get a job in there, just, just an, an, a little winter job. you got hygiene standards in there, so. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's not a Christmas to topper, that's a Christmas onesie. No, no. That will cover the whole tree. Saved his life, Craig, saved his life. <laughs> but like humane reasons, like I should win. He's adopted now, he has a family now. Oh, good for you. Just... I mean, he's pretty good. He is good, Nick. You want to see what I, I went for the more classic route. You want to see what classic. I've got? Okay, let's have You've probably already seen it, you know, Chief. No. If we ever own an actual house yeah. and a tree, yeah. maybe we can put this on there one day. Okay, let's have a look. I think you're going to like this. Do you think? <gasps> I do I'm so like shiny. it. Oh, the, the camera doesn't do it justice. But it is sparkling. I, uh, I, I do like yours, but yeah. I feel like... I mean, for originality... Do you know what, you know what I mean? That's, that's pretty good. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no! Alright, let's call it two all. Well, uh, we'll, both, we'll both wrap the presents. With the Christmas spirit and all that jazz. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. We've had a wicked time here, haven't we? It's been the best. I can't believe we're going home tomorrow, though. Like, if you think Christmas lights in your hometown are good, you ain't been to Strasbourg, mate. They know how to do it here. Like, my face is hurting from smiling so much, and I'm just... Every corner you turn, every little cobble street you go down, they've got like chandeliers all the way down one street. It's classy, mate. Real classy. So all that's left to do now is wrap the presents, pack the car and head home. But we've had a wicked time. Strasbourg, best Christmas markets we've ever been to in our whole lives, easily. I, I think no, nothing can top this. 
come to Strasbourg. Morning! So last night we stayed over at Folkestone because we did a massive drive in France and we were like, we don't want to drive another five hours back home. So we've woken up this morning, we've wrapped some presents. Do you think we went a bit nuts? I think we went a bit nuts. My jaws is for me, but uh, there's a few for the family. You'll be glad to know. Top adventure, wicked trip. You were telling us ace. We were actually on the way back. We set Amy's phone up when we were watching a documentary on the Euro Tunnel to see how it was made. We didn't vlog that because uh, you weren't supposed to say that, Craig, because people think we're weird. <laughs> so, if you're brand spanking new, just found King in it, then thanks for hanging out with us. Hope you've had a wicked time. Please press subscribe. And if you're not new, guys, thanks a bunch for sticking with us. I mean, I hope you've learned something during this journey because we certainly have. Always remember, rule your own world. One, two, two, bye! bye. Je m'appelle. Amy Bannister, uh, je suis, uh, mm. <laughs> mm. je suis, mm. de, de, de neuf ans, 29 years old, ah, j'adore les chambres.